Greetings, my viewer, and thank you so much for joining us on another episode of A Word to Inspire You. Thank you for tuning in, and let us go straight into prayer to pray for the word that God has prepared for us today. Father, I want to thank you for my viewer. Whatever they're going through, O oh Lord, I know that through this word, they will find healing and deliverance. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Today we're going to read from two separate scriptures. The first scripture we're going to read is from the book of Matthew, chapter 13, verse 25. The Bible says, But while his men were sleeping, his enemy came and sowed weeds resembling wheat among the wheat and went away. This is from the Amplified Version. I'm now going to read from the New Life Version. During the night, someone who hated him came and planted weed seed with the good seed in his field and went away. My viewer, um, I'm not sure what challenges or difficulties you may be going through right now. But this word has come um, from the Lord to encourage and to inspire you but also to reveal to you what's going on in your life. We're here reading this scripture, which basically is talking about how the Lord Jesus Christ, how the farmer who had a farm planted good weed, good seed, sorry, not good weed, good seed on his farm. But during the night, the Bible says that the enemy came and planted weed amongst the good seed. Another version says that during the night, someone who hated him came and planted weed with this good seed in his field and then went away. So that, that weed which was planted was planted there strategically in order to destroy his field to destroy his crops and to destroy his life to destroy his income to destroy his business i'm talking to you today and i don't know what you may be facing right now but maybe you've noticed changes in your marriage in your relationship with your husband or your wife there could be more arguing more misunderstanding and maybe you might be going through financial hardships. Maybe you have a business and that business was yielding you good profit. But now you've noticed that the profits are dropping and maybe it's reached the point where you've had to close down your business. Okay? Maybe you're not advancing in your career growth. And maybe you may be suffering from illnesses. You may be suffering from sickness. And you were once in good health. But all these things happen suddenly. The Bible is revealing to us today that during the night, a bad seed, a weed was planted in your life, planted in your marriage, planted in your relationships, planted in your business, and even planted in your body with regards to your health. But I have good news for you today. We shall read now from the book of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 13. And the Bible says, this is Jesus. He was talking to his disciples and he said, Every plant that my Father in heaven did not plant will be pulled up by its roots. Another version says, it will be uprooted. Jesus was very aware of the works of Satan in people's lives. Jesus was very aware of this and that's why he gave this prophecy to his disciples at that particular time. And this is an encouraging word for you who are watching me right now. This is the word that God is giving you today. That every bad seed that your hater or your enemy planted in your marriage, planted in your business, or planted in your body, the Lord Jesus Christ is here today and he is ready to pull up and uproot that planting of evil by the enemy in your life. 
I am led to pray for you. Normally, I don't pray on, on a word to inspire you, but the Holy Spirit is leading me to pray for you right now. Please lay your hand on the screen and let us pray. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I commit the viewer who's watching right now this episode into your hands. I pray the Lord Jesus Christ that you would uproot every bad seed, every weed that is planted in this person's life, whether it be in their marriage, whether it be in their career, whether it be in their business, whether it be in their body in the form of sickness. Father, I ask you, but by the power of the Holy Spirit, begin to uproot every evil spirit, every negative seed, every bad weed from this person's life right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive your deliverance. Receive your healing by faith. That seed has been uprooted. And that good seed which the Lord has planted will now begin to grow freely because the bad seed has been removed. We thank the Lord Jesus Christ for your healing and your deliverance. Please don't forget to join us again on an episode of A Word to Inspire You. May the Lord richly bless you and protect you in Jesus' name. I surrender all to Jesus. I surrender all, all to you, my blessed Savior. I surrender all. May the Lord richly bless you and I congratulate you for making the decision to choose life. In other words, to give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says that Jesus gave his life in order for us to have life abundantly here on earth and also in heaven. I therefore want us to now say a short prayer of repentance. Close your eyes and let us pray. Heavenly Father, we just want to thank you for this person, this viewer, whom you love so much, who has decided to surrender their life and to give their life to you, Lord Jesus. You died on the cross for him or her in order for her and him to have eternal life. Father, I ask you in the name of Jesus that you would wash him and her clean with your blood. Write their name in the book of life, Lord Jesus, and forgive them from their sins, starting from now in Jesus' name. Lord, I thank you for this wonderful day, and I know that the angels in heaven are rejoicing because this individual has finally made the decision to accept you as their Lord and Savior. Bless them, O oh Lord, and cover them with your blood and help them to grow in faith through your word. In Jesus' name I pray. Congratulations, my viewer, for giving your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. Today is a joyous, a joyous occasion for you. I encourage you to find a good church that teaches the biblical principles based on the true word of God. If you're living in the UK, find a church somewhere near you. If you're living in Kenya, in South Africa, and if you're living in Tanzania or anywhere in this world, I encourage you to find a good church where it will build you in your faith and help you to grow in your faith in the Lord day after day. May the Lord richly bless you and join us next time for another episode. Bye-bye for now. Mm -hmm.